Happy New Year! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first official video of 2021. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Hayward. If you're new here, I am a wife and a mother of two little boys ages five and two and a half, Logan and Mason and I enjoy making cooking, motherhood, and cleaning style videos, as well as a few different blogs and other types of videos. So if any of that interests you, please click that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. So today's video is about reflecting a little bit on 2020, some of the things that happened, things that we had hoped would happen that did not happen in 2020, as well as what we're really looking forward to in the future with the new year starting. So I'm not gonna bore you with a recap of worldwide events that happened in 2020. You've all had enough of that. You all know it very well what happened. So this is more my personal reflection on the year and what happened in my life and the life of my family. So 2020 started out rough for us. In January of 2020, we lost my great-grandmother. So my great-grandmother, my children's great-great-grandmother, we lost her at the age of 99. And then of course the pandemic started in March of 2020 and about a week after um, I believe it was on my husband's actual birthday or the day before he got the call that he was being laid off. <laughs> so this was unfortunate because he had only been at this job for about two months and we were actually super excited about this job when he started because it was the most money he'd ever made. We had all these plans to save up all this extra money as well as pay off all of our debt because we had this big income coming in and that was quickly taken away. Now, we did not lose all sources of income. He was a part-time shift supervisor at Starbucks so he had to pick up extra hours there in order to pay bills. So not all was lost, we still had some income but it definitely wasn't the $32 an hour that he was making. So yeah, because that extra income was lost, we had to put our debt-free journey on pause, which was one of our main 2020 goals. We were going to finally pay off Josh's student loans and become debt-free, which we would have been on track to do had he not lost that income. So instead we had to go into kind of survival mode and save everything instead of being able to throw large chunks of money at the debt like we had been doing. Uh, next our home plans changed. Now I did mention this in another video that we decided to stay in our current home another year or so to rent instead of what we had planned which was actually this month January 2021 we had hoped to start house hunting for a larger home to rent. Now at this point, we can't afford to double our rent to move into a bigger place. It's just not possible or smart to do that right now. So yeah, we're just going to plan to stay in our smaller home with a lower rent. And of course, our day-to-day -day life changed drastically in 2020. Um, since my oldest son was born, I've been a stay-at-home mom, which I still am, but it's a bit different now because my husband typically goes into work at about two and works nights, he closes. So he's usually home with us during the day, whereas before he'd leave at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning and we wouldn't see him a whole lot during the day. So being a stay-at-home mom is kind of different when there's also the other partner in the house as well. And of course, before the pandemic, the kids and I used to go do fun activities frequently. I would take them to the library and take them to different fun 
kids places, the playground, and I really had to scale that all back, which of course was very hard on me as well as I'm sure very hard on them. We've had to get creative in order to entertain them and still stay safe. I also used to take the kids with me everywhere, grocery shopping, running errands, and now I basically do everything alone, <laughs> which is a big change for me as well. I run all errands alone, I grocery shop alone, I basically go everywhere alone. So that's a big change as well that happened in 2020. Another thing that got put on pause in 2020 was we had plans to try for our third baby. We were gonna either start trying at the end of the spring or in the summer of 2020 at some point. And just because of everything going on, I didn't feel that it was the right time and that got put on pause, which definitely was a huge bummer because we both really want a third child, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be on pause forever. So hopefully, maybe we'll have that to look forward to in 2021. In the fall of 2020, Logan was also supposed to be starting pre-K. He was pretty excited about it. I was kind of looking forward to, you know, dropping him off at pre-K and having just some one-on-one -on -one time with my younger son during the day. But of course, I had to make the tough decision to not enroll him in pre-k because of everything going on but to keep him safe and keep him home so i tried out homeschooling and although my son is very bright he's pretty easy to teach because he's so smart and he catches on quickly i've just discovered that homeschooling is really not for me i don't have a passion for it i find it kind of difficult I'm not sure how people are able to homeschool as well as, you know, entertain the younger children and keep up the house. It's just, it's a lot. There's already a lot on my plate and adding homeschooling into it was definitely challenging and very hard, I found, to stay on schedule with it. We do kind of just integrate teaching in everyday activities but as far as the sit down and do schoolwork, I find that very challenging. So really hoping that everything is on track for him, that he can start kindergarten normally in the fall of this year. Uh, I had also been working at my family's cafe, my mom and her husband Bill's cafe. I had been working every Sunday at the cafe, just helping prep food for the week. And when the pandemic hit, they of course were not having as many customers. Most of the customers in their building were working from home, so they had less customers. So therefore they didn't really have a need for me anymore. So I stopped doing that. That was the work I was doing and I no longer do that. But as some of you already know, in 2020, I did start babysitting. So I kind of traded one little side job for another. So for 2021, my way I'm looking at it is I just want to stay as positive as possible. I'm going to really try to focus on contentment, even though we are working towards things we really want. We really want to be debt free. We really want to own our own home and we really want to have a third child. Those are all things we really, really want and we're working hard to reach those goals. However, I want to be content with where I'm at now, what I have now, and everything that's going on for me now. So although I'm trying to have a positive outlook for 2021, it did not start off great for me. So I woke up on New Year's Day, bright and early, go into the bathroom, and what do I hear? Water. Random water that I don't know where it's coming from, but nobody has taken a shower or done anything with the water because we had all been asleep. So I rushed to my basement to find that water is spilling out, flooding out of a pipe and the floor is covered with water. So I rushed to wake up my husband and he's able to turn off the water and we shop back all of the water up 
and we have our maintenance guy come and fix the problem. But that just did not seem like a very good omen that the very first thing <laughs> that we had to do on New Year's Day was deal with the flooded basement and clean up tons of water. However, the lucky thing is that the pipe that was leaking was way on this side of the basement, whereas most of the stuff we stored on there is way over here on the other side of the basement. It did not get wet, so that is very fortunate. And rest assured, everything is taken care of now and cleaned up, and hopefully we will not have a plumbing issue again. So of course, I mentioned in 2021, we are looking forward to hopefully adding a third child to our family or at least becoming pregnant with that child and maybe welcoming the child in 2022. Either way, we are hoping that a new baby may happen for us soon. It of course is still a scary time to be pregnant or welcome a new baby but we've just decided we cannot put this off forever. Uh, we're not getting any younger and there's never a perfect time to have a child. So we're just gonna go for it. We need a light at the end of a long, dark 2020 tunnel. So I mentioned us continuing to live in this house another year. So we really hope that another high paying job comes along for my husband and then we can get the debt-free journey really back on track and hopefully save up our 20% down payment to buy a house potentially next year. We're hoping to save up around $60,000 to put down as our down payment. So if a good paying job ever comes along again for my husband, that really should be no problem. But again, who knows what's going to happen. This is just something we're hopeful for in 2021. So the last things that I hope happen in 2021 are about my channel. So of course, 2020 is also the year that I finally launched my channel. And I'm so happy that I did because it was a fun way to kind of just escape reality and have something else to focus on other than everything else going around in my life. It was a creative outlet and I met some new people on YouTube and I didn't realize that there was such a friendly community on there and it's just been fun to create content that I can look back on one day, especially with my kids growing so fast. I can look back on these special moments of the holidays and other fun trips we took and have them forever to cherish. So I love that aspect about making vlogs of my family. So my goals for my channel in 2021 are to hit my 4,000 watch hours. And if you're watching this right now, you are actively helping me get there. So thank you so much for watching. And my other big goal is to hopefully by the end of this year, finally hit my 1000 subscribers. So I'll be able to monetize. I still have quite a ways to go until I reach my 1000 subscribers, but I'm hopeful that by the end of the year, I may finally be there. And then of course, I just want to keep improving and getting better at my filming and my editing. I wanna sharpen those skills. I wanna put out content that I am proud of and that is enjoyable to watch for you and that I myself would want to watch. That is my goal and thank you so much for being here, helping me to reach all my goals just by watching this video. Now that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and have a happy new year. If you want to, leave some of your resolutions in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!